all right so in this video i'm going to discuss about the questions which are asked in previous exams about classical addressing or on calls classical addressing so the first question is the ip address of a system is 63.12.1.1 right so this is it which class does it belong to so first you have to know that the the range of class a is 1 to 126 the range of class b is sorry 128 to 191 the range of class c is 192 to 223 it's a very class e class c class d 224 to 239 and class e has the address of 240 to 255 right so you just these are the numbers you can uh, I don't uh, suggest you that you memorize these numbers. There's logic to remember these numbers. So the logic is something like this. So first address, sorry. Okay, I'll be telling about these things in next videos. So how to do it. just here focusing on questions. So the if I IP address of system is 63. 12, 12.1.1 to which class does it belong? So, so this question belongs to class A address. Right? So the class A answer is class A. If I get a system is 160.11.120.19 to which class does it belong? So, so it will be from class B. Right? Then the question says that if I get a system is 160. Right, point one two five, point two five seven, point one. Which class class does it belong to? So you will going to say that this belongs to class B, but this question is going to be wrong okay? because if you look at the here, so this is two fifty seven, and the range of the numbers of the IPs are each octet contains no, there are four octets, and each octet contains zero to two fifty five numbers right so this is wrong this question is wrong because yeah it is out of the range and the next question is if ip address system is 24.31.13.16 calculate the net id so how to calculate net id firstly let's see quickly how to calculate net id so there are three steps that you just have to know that. First, identify the ID. Identify ID from which class does it belong. So this uh, only is going to help you in class for addressing. So when you identify the ID, just you will know that the subnet mask of the class, right? And the third question is perform ending between ID and the submit mask right so and operation so this is the process procedure so let's see the question so it says that if our system is two four three one one three so we know that this this id is going to from class a right so the class a had the submit mask 255 dot zero dot zero dot zero and the the id is two four dot three one dot one three dot one six so if you perform the ending you will get two four dot zero dot zero dot zero and you know this is this might be looking some strange right because uh, how we are performing the ending so you just remember this shortcut here 255 we perform ending 255 with x 
so you will going to get the x and if you are performing the ending with zero and any other number so you will going to get the zero and actually the ending is performed this way if you turn uh, convert this into binary form so you will get something like this one 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 dot zero so okay, just leave this part now focusing on this part so 24 so 24 would be like uh, yeah 8 4 12 not going to be so 16 from here you have to start 16 and then you will be here zero zero sorry zero and zero 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 so this is something like this so you will look zero 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 one plus one zero 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 you will get right so if you cannot this will get 24 but this is shortcut right you just have to remember this so this is how you get the network id and the network id is in previous problem, what and next question is in previous problem, what would be the address of first rows? So, you know, in any system, the first IP address or the first ID belongs to network ID. You always have to, you might be knowing that. And the, the second or the last ID is going to be directed broadcast ID. Right? So, DBA address. Right? So, first is network ID and the last is directed broadcast address. Right? So, so the first set is going to be start from 24 dot 0 0 so you just have to remove it's going to be 1 right so you can write this way 24 0 0 1 so this is the first host right I said previous problem, what will be the address of last host? Yeah, when you talk about last host, so as I have told you that uh, you never have to think that last host is going to be 24, 255, 255, and 255 because this will going to be direct and broadcast address. So, so the last host will be 24.255.255.254, right? So this is when we last at this. Uh, this is you can solve this the way you can solve the questions. The next question is if I put a system is 36.11.119.14 find network ID, data broadcast address, first host, and last the same way you have to perform the ending. So this is belongs to from class A. So class A has the six. 1194. This is ID, right? And this is summit mask 255.0.0. So when you perform the ending, you will want to get 0 .0, 0 0. And this will be reserved. So, and this will going to be the network ID. So, network ID will be 36.0.0.0. .0 .0. And the directed broadcast address will be the last address I told you 255. So make all the zeros at once 255. 255, right? So this is going to be directed broadcast address. And, and say then first host and last host. So the first host will be 36.0.0.0. .0 .0 .0 .0. One, this is first host. And the last host will be three six two fifty five two fifty five, and this will be two fifty four. Because if you make this two fifty five, then it's going to be broadcast address, right? And we'll be looking in some other video that what is broadcast address. Next question is if I put a system is 
4.12 calculate network id director broadcast address and last word is how many number of hosts are available in a network so this question has extra requirement that is say that available number of available number of hosts in a network right so we will see that how can how can we calculate that so first thing this this ip is going to be from class c and just write the subnet mask so for c class submit mask is uh, 255 255 255.0 right the network id is i'm sorry this is the a random id yes student so you just have to identify 199.83.44.12 so if you if you perform the ending here you will get 199.83.44 and 0 right so this will going to be your network id and the broadcast id will be 199.83.44 and this is actually the host bit right sorry so this will going to be 255 that's it so this is dba that is broadcast address and how many number of hosts are available so to find the number of hosts available you have you just uh, you know in in in, in class a um, there is um, the first octet right sorry just let me understand this make you understand this way so if you have class a so suppose these are the ip addresses and we basically divide an ip address into two parts first is network pass no, I'm sorry, network ID, the host host part, right? Network part and host part, right? We generally divide the and basically these rules are applied on class A, class B, and class C, but not on class D and class E. So the class A says that the this part will go into the network ID part, and this part will go into the host part, right? And that's why you are looking at it in separating, right? So the class, this is this was class A. So it says that it all going to be one, and this will going to be zeros, right? So for class C address, the last part, only last part, is belong, is going to say that, you know, yeah, this is the host part, right? The last octet. Is the host part so and this is basically to raise the power 8 and each octet contain we know that each octet contain the 8 bits so the path so the possible number of ids possible host is equal to the formula is to raise to raise to the power number of host bit this is the formula number of host, host bits minus 2 right so and we are why we are doing minus 2 because the, we are subtracting the first address which is network address and the last address which is broadcast address that's why we are subtracting 2 right so the number of bits in class c is 8 host bits in class c so to restore a minus 2 right so this will be the answer and you can simplify this i don't know you can calculate this <laughs> from your calculator right so one thing i would like to tell you that number of host bits host bits for class a class b class c so here the host bits are 24 and the 16 and the 8. Just have to know that. This is the host bits. If I say the network bits, 
so network bits uh, would be um, from A and 16 then we have 24 right? so this is network bits all right thanks for watching